Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will be looking at defining the equation of a straight line, and that will be in the format y equals mx plus b. So, just a little bit of revision from last time. Say I wish to draw a straight line passing through the point 0, negative 3 with a gradient of 3. This is what we'll be doing effectively with the y equals mx plus b approach. So just bear with me for one moment. I need to identify the starting point. Now my starting point will be 0, negative 3. Then I need to convert my gradient to a fraction. So 3 over 1. So I locate my starting point on the Cartesian plane. Then I need to identify a second point. So my gradient is 3 over 1. So that means I go up 3. 1, 2, 3. Then I go across 1 to get my second point. Once I have that second point, I can draw a straight line using my ruler straight through those two points I have identified. Now, this particular line can be represented by this particular equation. We'll get on to what that means in a minute. Now, it's far easier to say draw a line using the equation y equals 3x minus 3 than saying draw a line passing through the point 0, negative 3 with a gradient of 3. It is a convenience thing. So we will be working with this particular format of equation. So the next slide is starting to define exactly what those coefficients mean, what those numbers mean. So a line can be represented by the equation y, so my value of y equals mx plus b. Now m is the gradient, it's the number that we assign to the steepness of our line. And b is the y-intercept, it's the number of where the line passes through the y-intercept. So if you look here, the y-intercept here is negative 3. That there is the negative 3. That represents where I go through the y-axis. And the 3 here represents the steepness of the line, the gradient. In other words, I've gone up 3, 1, 2, 3, and across 1. Now, if I was looking at this equation here, y equals 6x plus 5. What is the gradient? And what is the y-intercept? Well, the gradient, or my value of m, equals 6. My y-intercept is 5. That's where I go through the y-axis. So that's my m value. That's my b value. Now, if I had to sketch a graph of y equals 2 thirds x minus 1, the first thing I need to do is identify my gradient and my y-intercept. So my gradient is 2 thirds. It's the value or the coefficient of x. And my y-intercept is this number here. So, what do I need to do? Find the y-intercept here on the Cartesian plane, negative 1. That's one point. The next point, I know that I have to go up 2 and across 3. That is my gradient. So from that negative 1, I'll go up 2, 1, 2, and across 3, 1, 2, 3. So if I click on here, you'll get a good idea. So I've gone up 2, 1, 2, 
then I've gone across three. One, two, three. Starting from the y-intercept of negative one. If you see an equation, this is a fairly complicated equation, 3y minus 6x equals negative 3, you'll have to apply your algebra and put that in, the, in that equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. You cannot just look at this and say ah, the gradient is negative 6 or the y-intercept is negative 3. So to do that, you have to apply a little bit of algebra. I'm just going to skip over this quickly. The first thing I would do is I would divide this by 3, this by 3, this by 3. This then would give me y equals yeah, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 2x y minus 2x equals negative 1. Then I would have to add 2x to both sides. Add 2x to this side, add 2x to this side. And I'd end up with the equation y equals 2x minus 1. That then is in the form y equals mx plus b. If you can't see how I've done that, I was a little bit um, untidy there, don't worry too much. You'll just have to probably build up a few more skills in algebra. Now, what I really want you to be aware of is once I have this equation here, Calculate the gradient, or identify the gradient, that's 2, or if you prefer, 2 over 1, and the y-intercept of negative 1. So I need to find negative 1 here, that's my first point. Then, my gradient is 2, so I'll have to, from that point, I'll go up to 1, 2, and across 1, and that'll be a second point. So hopefully, that looks... Then we go here, so I start at negative 1, I go up to 1, 2, and across 1. So there you have it. Just to summarise, a line can be defined by the equation y equals mx plus b. Some other books will actually represent this equation as y equals mx plus c. The B and the C mean the same thing. M is the gradient, in other words, the slope. B is the y-intercept. And to draw any of these lines, start at the y-intercept, put a dot where your y-intercept is, and your next dot will be calculated, just like we do with the point and gradient approach such as this case, we'll go up to and across 3. So we'll have first point here, second point here, and then I can draw a straight line through those points. So there you have it. I hope you have a better understanding of the equation y equals mx plus b. And until next time, good maths. Bye for now.